in general, uh, textile and also textile machinery industry in 2023 is not a, a good year. And, uh, but, you know, before the ITMA Milan, we expect that there will be some kind of, uh, you know, recovery. But there was some recovery, uh, as a matter of fact. But after ITMA, for a short time, you know, they went to kind of a recession again. But after, after ITMA, I mean, from uh, mid of June till now, I would call, we have seen the end of the tunnel. We have seen the end of the tunnel and we have seen the sign, seen the light, but the light are still very faint. Yeah. So, but I hope that this, uh, with uh, this show, somehow we feel that the light is a little bit bright. So, for sure this is a recovery, but how fast? And what will be the acceleration of the of recovery? That's a, I think that's the key issue now. But we definitely we are sure we are on the right track to recover. The innovation starts not only from ITMA. As a matter of fact, if you see this show we have in TDAS, this is what we call a, a pro, prolonged, uh, I would call prolongation of after ITMA. As a matter of fact, if you see the alternate double knit, you will see we go further development of uh, the new product. If you look at uh, the fabric, if you look at the fabric for the, the double knit alternate, you will see that we are doing not only the six color, five color, even with a six color with uh, Lycra. So let's become four way stretch, I mean, the six color, four way stretch jacquard. And also on top of it, also we make a mesh effect. Also, we make tuck effect. So that makes this, the fabric more versatile. So that's the things, uh, even until from it about here now, we have, uh, it, we have done one of this. This is one of the showcase. The other showcase I can point out is for the single knit. Even now we make the single knit alternate with Blu-ray. You know, Blu-ray is a true 3D effect of the fabric. So if you want, I can show you the fabric later. Yeah. And also for the smart knitting solution, we put also the, our, one of our solution here, FTD. And FTD, now, if you look at that, the machine that we adopt on our Terry machine, Terry with loop, normally it's so difficult for a fabric, de detect, I mean, a fabric defect detector to detect it but we can see so easily and find any kind of defect, whether it's a horizontal uh, stripe or vertical stripe, or the whole, whole light effect, a uh, whole light, light effect that you can detect it. So that's a really, truly, I mean, artificial intelligent application. First of all, you mentioned about the Indian government to support the, the Indian textile. You mentioned about, you call POI. Yeah. POI is one of the major uh, incentive program from the Indian government to support the Indian textile manufacturer. As a matter of fact, if you see, uh, they are coming with a, a delegation of uh, confederation of uh, Indian industry. And the delegation will come to visit Hidas tomorrow. And also we arrange that the, the delegation of this uh, CII will come to visit Pai Long in next Monday. So this is a typical showcase showing that the Indian textile, especially in knitting, you are diversifying your product from natural fiber to synthetic fiber. So that's, that's, that's the reason why you have a, such a big group of uh, delegation. They want to see how they can learn from the Taiwan success of uh, synthetic knitting or synthetic textile. Whether you so-called the uh, near show or friendly show or China plus one, doesn't matter. But uh, you, there's a, uh, I would call a supply chain shift or movement that this is uh, ongoing. So definitely that uh, with a country like India, that you will definitely uh, have uh, such a great opportunity because 
Don't forget that in India you have uh, infrastructure wise. I'm talking about textile infrastructure wise. You have a cotton. For synthetic, you have, I mean, you have a, one of the biggest, but still maybe you need uh, some more. But you already have some, I mean, solid infrastructure. So that's, that's one of the important things. And also the second, beside uh, the textile infrastructure, you need human resource. What I mean, human resource means you have to have uh, dedicated people or dedicated person from the management point of view or from technical point of view, you need to such a, such a uh, talent people. So in this case, that definitely you can develop by yourself, but if you have uh, some, some, you know, some cooperative partner to help you, that, that you, even you can accelerate it, that your, your speed. So that's the reason why you have this dedication. They are looking for some of the investor or cooperator, no matter from management point of view or from the market point of view or from technical point of view. You know better than me. You know, Taiwan, so far, 70% of the functional fabric are still made in Taiwan, produced in Taiwan. So that's the, the strength of Taiwan. So I think this is one of the reasons why that you send this delegation from uh, Confederation of uh, Indian Industry. It's coming to looking for such kind of opportunity, whether this is a marketing corporation, whether this is a, a, a technical corporation, or even kind of joint venture corporation. That's it. This, everything's possible. So that's, uh, you know, we call this is a kind of win-win game. If you want to go deeper, I think that uh, I will call the the Russian and Ukraine war compared to Israel with Hamas, they are different. They are different. But but I I I better that I don't go too deep for that. But as a matter of fact, they will certainly give us some kind of uh, economical impact. But this impact, I don't think will be the same like uh, Ukraine. Russia war, because these two conflict partner or territory, they don't produce petroleum. So as a matter of fact, the impact for the energy will be very, very, very minor. So you are seeing that the, the, after this, uh, this uh, conflict start, you see the one day or two day, the petroleum price is up and then go down again. So. I don't think that would be uh, uh, a really severe economical impact for this, uh, this conflict. As I try to explain, we have seen the end of the tunnel and we have seen the light. The, the, the question is how fast the light will become so bright, so bright. So think on this, I think that the, the, the market of uh, USA I mean, I'm talking about United States, the consumer confidence are still there. Are still there and the buying power are still there. The, the, the question will be, you know, how fast the, the brand, the, the chain store, the retailer, their inventory level have been. I believe now the inventory level are now more healthy. So now the only things we are both, uh, all of us are, are consumer. Besides uh, in, in uh, American consumer, the problem of uh, their disposal income, how they split. Now, the main, re the main problem for them, in, if you, uh, because I was in USA in first and second week of uh, August, my own observation is the, the American consumer, they are spending like hell for the service sector. I'm talking about service uh, consumption, but for the commodity consumption is quite less. So that's the major headache. I mean, that's the major issue. But sooner or later, was it because, you know, because if uh, the service consumption trigger the price of uh, uh, the restaurant and the price of uh, hotel charge are higher. So that somehow this will be constrained in certain. So hopefully this will be balanced. 
So when there's balance, so the, the consumer will spend more in commodity. Like, uh, I mean, I'm talking about like a durable item, for example.